extras. In this video, I'm just going to show you Candy Apple and in particular its use with fonts, in particular graphic extras fonts. Uh, but of course, you could use any font, it doesn't have to be just those ones. Right, first thing to do, just go over to the drawer option and you'll see a little uh, key there. Now it's text, right? Okay, <laughs> so just going to drag that out and First thing to do, I'm just going to enter some characters, or well, just one character in fact. And it's going to be H, but obviously I don't want that one, so I just want the font over here. And I'm just going to select the insect font. And, and of course you could you can resize it, so I'm just going to resize that. Now, there's a butterfly design, there's lots of other designs with it, insects like bugs and centipedes and spiders and those sort of things. Now deselect that and then go back and select it and now you can just do object convert to shape. Text is fine but most of the best things within this application you can do with once it's converted to a shape. So now it's converted to a shape can just obviously stretch it out very easy instead of just trying to change the size etc over here not so convenient. You can now go to Edit Inspector. The Edit Inspector can be found here. And you've got a fill. So you can actually just get rid of it. The whole application seems to work on approach of like layers, layers of effects as well as layers itself. So you can actually just bring that back. Go down here and there's various options. There's a pattern fill, zigzag fill, and a few other ones like stroke, rough stroke, Quite nice little effects so I'm just going to choose firstly a zigzag fill now by default the effect is not on which personally I would prefer it to be on always it's default but but I'm just going to quickly add that on so there's the actual zigzag design and you can modify it now not all shapes work well with the zigzag if you've got a very complicated shape you can get a really messy complicated design but you can actually obviously it's just a fairly nice design you can actually get some nice interesting designs with this zigzag option and of course you can do zigzag strokes as well you don't have to so you can over the top of that so I'll just quickly show you that you just go over here zigzag stroke again it's off by default and you can see there's the zigzag design and you can modify that as well which and you obviously can add so it's very much like the appearance palette to a degree in Illustrator. Right, next thing to do, I'm just going to quickly show you the pattern fill. It's a pattern fill option. There's also a hatch fill option. And you've got various spacing. Now, this, you can enter file. So you just select file. So now I'm just going to go to patterns here. Um, these ones are Christmas designs. These are from graphic extras, but you can use obviously any other PNG files. I'm not certain what other formats are accepted, but certainly there. PNG is accepted as a format, so you can add that pattern there. Again, by default it's off, so just actually select that in. You can see the, you can change the angle, scale it, spacing you can modify as well. Don't go too far. If you go too far, it seems to slow down considerably. And you can move move it around okay so that's a, a quick run through some of the features of this interesting graphics application which you can find on I believe the Apple store as well as probably on the candy Apple website obviously you could do a search on Google to find that site anyway, I hope you found this and of course not only that before I go you can actually also combine some of the effects and I haven't tried them all and I would but you certainly can copy some of the effects over into Illustrator and use that there as well. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.